Hello class, today we are going to learn about survey and our subtopic is chain survey. Introduction, I'm going to give you the general meaning of survey. Surveying is the art and science of measuring and recording distances, angles and heights on the earth's surface to obtain data from which accurate plans and maps are made. Types or branches of surveying. Survey can be categorized into three branches as follows. Classification depending upon how the earth is perceived. It includes plain and geodetic surveying. Classification depending upon the purpose of survey. It includes cadastral surveys, hydrographic surveys, topographical survey, engineering surveying, land surveying, etc. Classification depending upon the instrument used. Today we are going to discuss about classification of surveying according to instruments used. We have four types of surveying according to instrument used which are chain or tape surveying, plain table surveying, prismatic surveying and leveling. Chain or tape surveying is the method of land surveying in which linear measurements are taken into field by using a chain or a tape measure. Add the purpose of chain survey are to fill in details on a map whose larger features are being surveyed by other methods. Mapping small areas of flat or near flat ground and associate objects like road and railways. Military for security purposes. To measure areas of land for construction sites purpose. We are going to see equipment used in chain survey. Chain. It is used to measure distance on the field. Tape measure. It is used to measure distance on the field. Ranging poles. It is used to set out straight line on the field. It is painted to make easily visibility from a distance. Cross staff. It is used to measure light angles from the line of traverse. Arrows. It is used for marking temporary stations on the ground. Pegs. It is used for marking permanent positions during surveying. Plumb bob. It is used to check the object if a vertical level. Notebook, hard pencil, and a rubber. It is used to record the data obtained from the field. Advantages of chain survey. It is the simplest method of surveying, which is carefully done. It gives quite accurate results. It needs no much more knowledge in mathematics. It is more suitable to small, plain, clear areas with very few details. It is cost effective as the only few people are involved in the field. Disadvantages of a chain survey. It is suitable mainly in open ground. It is suitable mainly at level ground with minimum rise and fall. It is not suitable for surveying larger areas. It is time consuming when one wants to cover a wide area. Summary of the study. From our class today, we discussed on the following parts. Meaning of survey and its purpose. Types of survey. Types of surveying according to instruments used. We focused much on chain survey. The instrument used on chain survey. Errors which can occur during conducting a chain survey. Advantages and disadvantages of chain survey. Please stop and review. We didn't discuss on this part. At your own time, go and find the following questions. Classify the obstacles encountered in chain survey. Suppose you are approaching an obstacle which is a pond. How would you conduct a chain survey on it? Thanks very much for your time.